Hallo miteinander, I'm Geshady6 and this is a game you might be very familiar with. It is a game that I have already LP'd. It is Blackthorn, but this time on the Sega 32X. We're going to play this game again for no reason whatsoever. I'm being completely random with this. And we're also going to randomly warp to the end of level 4, the Xandralite Mines, where we will meet Galadriel, our faithful wizard friend. Not sure if I made myself clear on that, but we're going absolutely nowhere with this. So, Galadriel, he will send us to the Karelian Swamp, a place with lots of mosquitoes, constant rain and loads and loads of grags and evil traitors. We're gonna have such a swell time. Here we also have our villain Sarlacc. We already know this scene, so let's skip it. But what is this? There are no mosquitoes here, are there? Nope. These are the Sega 32X exclusive levels of Blackthorn. There are four of them in total, and the whole area has the very fitting name, the Snowy Mountains. Right in this very first room, we can get a secret area. See where that sign is pointing? That should tip you off. To get through this secret wall, you have to duck down and roll. Um, otherwise you won't get through. Took me a while until I understood that. But it gave us a spare firebomb. Now before we get any deeper into what's happening in the game, we should talk about the Sega 32X first. It wasn't a super unsuccessful console, console expansion I should say. But after the initial wave of sales, um, sales pretty much plummeted. Um, very few people actually had that console in the end because it was very quickly known that um, it was just there to fill the gap for the Sega Saturn. So if you keep in mind that the console itself wasn't a very big thing and Blackthorn wasn't a mainstream game to begin with, I really don't think a lot of people played these levels that we're seeing right now. Um, and if you already had Blackthorn on, say, Windows or the Super Nintendo, would you really buy this game again for four and more levels? Probably not. But still, we're going to take a look at these levels. And even though they may be very early in the game and not push the action of the game as far as the late game content does, we will still see what they have to offer. And maybe they will even surprise us a little bit. Maybe. Right here we have a running jump to take. If you mess this one up, um, you can't take it again. You only have one shot. If you do miss it, it's not too bad, however, because you only get a an optional hover bomb. All in all, this is a very untypical level of Blackthorn, where you only use a few of the items that you get. Well, this room, this room is a little bit tricky. Um, first, stay on the left and lure the wasps down and then take a few steps back and take it out. In the past I have tried to rush up to the upper platforms in that room and fight the wasp there, but it didn't really work all that well. The thing is, uh, that wasp flies in on foot level and as you know Blackthorn lives in a 2D world where he can't aim his gun. Poor guy. Oh, you know what else returns for these levels? Uh, the most forgettable enemy in all of Blackthorn, the War Orc. Yeah, they pretty much died out after the Xanderlite Mines, but for these few levels, they are back. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed already, but whenever I'm switching items, Blackthorn seems to spaz out a little bit. I can only give you one hint for this. Don't play Blackthorn on 32X with anything but a six button controller. Seriously, the game is not made out for less buttons. It is way too complicated. And it'll make you look really silly. Now this Greg, he loves wasting our time, doesn't he? I really sh just should have put a firebomb on his stupid noggin, but I just didn't think of that, you know? Blackthorn just educates you to use items as tools and not as weapons. You just never know if you're gonna need it at some other point where the game forces you to use it, but in this level, as I've said, you have many spare items. Some of the items are even just substitutes. I mean, the wasps in this level, they might as well be hover bombs. 
All in all, this is a very short and simple level, with secret areas that are unnecessarily well hidden. Not sure why they did that, it's a bit strange. Ah yes, good old pressure plates. And when you can already see the metal barrier, it's usually safe to tread on them. Otherwise you will just spawn a turret, and that would be very annoying to take out or bypass. Through this room uh, we get very close to the end of the level. Um, there is an Androthy here that we can talk to, but he doesn't have anything useful. But he is there for a reason. He is there to tip you off um, to another secret. Yeah, this area is once again optional. It has another Simon Belmont wannabe in it. He would be pretty darn close if he lost another 200 pounds and, well, stopped being a horrible monster. But we kill him. And after that we can go through this door and get another health potion. At a point where we really don't need it anymore, at all. It really took me a while until I was able to find and show you these secret areas. On that occasion I also checked for a walkthrough of this version of Blackthorn. I don't think there is one. Also, this room is kind of funny. You don't even have to use that bridge key that you got earlier. It only looks as if you do. But with this, we conclude what I call the first of Blackthorn's lost levels, with an elevator ride in good old tradition. I'm Gish86, this was Blackthorn, and next time, more sleeveless adventures on the ice-cold snowy mountains. Galadriel should have warned us, then we could have packed a sweater. But what can you do? Bis bald!